All right, so we're ready to begin a project, uh, and I wanted to explain or walk through an example of an asset shot workflow, right? So the first thing is in project, we're gonna have characters, props, vehicles, environments, and libraries. These are all types of assets. Uh, and this is kind of important uh, because the big masses are assets. And then of course we have shots. Uh, and, and then shots have uh, a bunch of other things inside. Uh, but let's focus first on props and environments for the example. And to begin with, let's just take a look at a prop. Uh, and this prop is going to be a chair. Okay. So what happens with that chair, which is an asset, is that uh, it's going to have to, we're going to need some reference. Then we're going to need to sculpt it, texture it, and then do some shading. Right. So to begin with, uh, the, let's focus just on the modeling task. And within that modeling task, what we have is a list of requirements. And those can be stuff like the reference, the instructions, and the due date for that task, right? And then what's going to happen is that that task is going to get assigned to an artist, uh, hopefully a happy artist. Um, and that artist is going to start to produce versions, okay? Um, then those versions are going to go through revisions and then we're going to end up in a place where we have deliverables for the next department, for example, rigging and shading. If we take a look back, modeling is in between, uh, reference and texturing, right? So what happens is that, uh, it receives stuff from reference and it delivers stuff to texturing. Now, Props go inside of environments. And what that means is that if we have something like an environment called kitchen, and this is going to be an ENV for environment, then we can start to populate a kitchen with props just like the chair. Uh, and in this case, we have A uh, that represents our chair, and then we have C and B that represents two other assets that have gone through the modeling and maybe shading and uh, and uh, other parts. What that means is that uh, inside of kitchen, which is all the stuff that we have in green, uh, there's a chair that's imported and maybe that is on version one. Uh, and then we have a table and a fridge and those can be on its own different versions. And uh, it's worth noting that uh, we can import either the modeling task or maybe there's another task that we want to import, uh, for example, the rig, uh, maybe uh, for the fridge we're importing the rig since that's going to move now uh, the distinction that i want to make here is that uh, the stuff in green is in the file of the environment called kitchen right so uh, is, if we take if we want to take a look at this maybe kitchen is a file that's called env kitchen modeling right and what that means is that you're modeling stuff that's going to be maybe exclusively on the kitchen. And then you're importing assets like C, A, and B, the table, the fridge, and the chair, uh, that are going to populate that. Those may only be on environment or they may be on some other places. The important thing is uh, there is a difference between objects that are, are only in the environment file and those uh, other files that are getting imported. What is the difference? Well, very simple. Uh, oh, and the other thing is that kitchen can also go through versions and we might have version one with this arrangement and then version two with this very different arrangement uh, of the same props. Now, what is the difference? Well, the difference is that uh, well, uh, I'll go back to the difference of having the files imported and then the other objects. The thing I want to show is, well, that uh, the same way that our chair had an output, kitchen also has an output. And in this case is a JSON file uh, and some geometries and the render. So the difference, the difference is the geometry that's in green. Um, basically the, all the stuff that we've drawn here in green is something that we output to the geometries so uh really what we're saying is that uh when we 
output uh, this that all this stuff the geometry we're only going to export the stuff that's in green right into those files and then the props uh, the the other ones that, that we're getting uh, the a uh, the b and the c those are all going to be um, exported of this file via the JSON file, right? The other thing that we may get as an output from this file is the renders, uh, and those can be uh, MOVs, PNG, and EXRs. Now, here, what we're saying is, listen, uh, there's a source file, and then I have things that are going to come out of that source file. So this would be our source and all of this is stuff that belongs to our render okay um, and these are all outputs from that source file and as I mentioned geometries JSONs uh, JSON files MOV anything that comes from uh, Kishin version 2 right now uh, Coming back to the JSON file, uh, what that is, is just a document that has uh, the object name for each of the objects in, in that scene, uh, the location, uh, and the source file, that, and, and that source file obviously has the version and all the other stuff, right? Um, and then the geometry is what was sculpted inside of the environment. Now, shots. Let's assume that we have shot 10, and this is a shot of the task layout. If we come in here and press our magic build button, what's going to happen is that it is going to import into that scene all the stuff that we had on our kitchen. Because previously, we've specified that, well, shot 10 uh, takes place in the kitchen, right? And what that's going to do is that it's going to go through our JSON file and it's going to first import uh, the environment here, right? And then it's going to figure out each of these props and it's going to bring that in. Now, uh, after that, we can obviously place our cameras and the output is going to be a JSON file and a camera, okay? And what that means is that for the next process in place, um, we are only using... Uh, the new location, maybe we move one of these objects after going through the environments and the camera and this can be handled per shot uh, and each of if shot is going to have its own JSON file, it's going to have its own layout file um, and then its animation and the other processes. So that is the main uh, workflow of these things uh, and the cool thing is that later uh, we can get into non-linear editing of all of these. So for example, I in here I have a, a floating object and this can be anything. Let's say that uh, we had, I don't know, a ball inside of the kitchen. Uh, if we wanted to export that as a new uh, asset, what we can do is just tell it to, whoop, let's send that out into a new asset and that's going to be called uh, ball and we'll get version 001 and then then that becomes its own asset that can be um, edited and and we can add a lot of versions so a cool thing is that you can sculpt this file the environment and then we can split specific objects that we might want for something else uh, so yeah uh, that is the typical character workflow for this